Grand Rising, hello everybody. Today we are going to be doing about 30 minutes, I'm hoping. We'll see how the time is. My goodness, my eye is really itchy. Before we begin, I hope you are in some extra comfy clothes. I know I am. Literally, college t-shirt and some basketball shorts. Like, how much more comfortable can you get? Maybe you have some furry friends joining you i also encourage you guys to really surround yourself with anything that makes you feel good so off camera to my left i have a cam a candle going um i also have my essential oil somewhere which i will just dab i don't know where they went i'm just gonna dab it all around my yoga mat and around the floor so it smells really good when i'm doing thank you so that it smells really good when I'm doing yoga. Today, I have my stress relief and detox blend. So I always love to, oh, that is not in focus, but that's okay. I guess it is Facebook Live, right? I always like to uh, incorporate essential oils in my yoga routine my yoga practice <clears throat> so i'm gonna go ahead hi grab that around and we're actually going to begin today standing in mountain pose so if you've done some of my other yoga classes standing is usually not how we begin but today is a new day it's always good to change it up. Ooh. All right. I also encourage you guys to use some blocks. We're going to be doing a lot of forward folds. So it really just helps having blocks to bring the ground up. So you can really focus on relaxing and not trying to stretch and reach the ground. All right, so let's begin in mountain pose. <clears throat> we'll begin, well, I'll encourage you to begin with your feet hip width distance apart, really grounding your feet today feeling connected to the to the universe as we roll up through the spine tucking in the lower belly having a gentle lift through the chest as much as we can today and maybe rolling the shoulders up and back perhaps creating a nice open space between the ears and the shoulders. And maybe you also lift your chin so that it's parallel with the ground. I would invite you to join me in three deep breaths to begin our yoga class. But before we do that, I do want to mention that I give you explicit permission to disobey me. What does that mean? Explicit permission to disobey me means that even if I am cueing a pose, you, of course, have full permission to choose for yourself that you want to do another pose. Or maybe you choose to stay in a pose longer even though I'm cueing the rest of the class to continue. At any point, you can say, eh, I want to do this instead. And that is totally okay because this is your yoga class. So we'll begin by grounding the feet, lifting through the upper body, grounding through the lower back body. And again, I'll invite you to take three deep breaths as we begin our yoga class. Inhaling through the nostrils. Exhaling through the nostrils as well. Inhale. Exhale. Nice and slow. 
Inhale one more time. Exhale. Inhale, raising the arms up towards the sky. Exhale, rain it on down, nice and slow, forward fold. Having a nice, nice, gentle uh, bend in the knees. Be kind to yourself. This is actually where I'll use my blocks. Inhale, halfway lift. Straightening the back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rolling on up, mountain pose. Nice and slow, vertebra by vertebra. Inhale, raise the arms up. Maybe you clasp your hands together and do a baby back bend. Leading from the shoulders, and this doesn't have to be a real big move. Inhale, center. Exhale, forward fold. Maybe you find some jazz hands. Sprinkle some magical dust on your way down. <laughs> Inhale, halfway lift. Still keeping a little bend in the knees. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rolling on up slowly. Maybe you use your fingertips to slowly trace your body as you come on up as a reminder to keep going nice and slow. But also a little act of self-love, because when was the last time you touched yourself in a loving way? Inhale, arms up. Exhale, baby back bend, keeping a nice space between our ears and our shoulders, maybe finding a deeper back bend. Inhale forward. Exhale forward fold. <clears throat> Inhale halfway lift. Maybe resting the hands on the knees. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rolling on up one more time. Vertebra by vertebra. Really tapping into the nice deep breath as you roll up. <clears throat> and I'll invite you to enjoy this mountain pose for three nice deep breaths. I'm actually gonna step off camera because I need some water. Also our cat. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Finding a connection between your feet and the ground. Whatever that means to you today. And maybe you find a nice lift up through the kneecaps. And maybe you ask yourself today, how does it feel in your body to have this upward current of energy through the front body and this downward current of grounding energy through the back body? <clears throat> I'm 
going to put my blocks to the side. And I'll invite you to bring those glorious arms up towards the sky, towards the heavens, towards the ceiling. As you exhale and bring it on down, maybe you imagine like you're painting your hands down the wall or you're wriggling your fingers, spreading your magical fairy dust. Whatever imagery really resonates with you today. And maybe you join me as I find some side stretches in my forward fold. Or maybe you stay still. Whatever feels good in your body today. But let's just enjoy and relish in this me time. Breathing deeply wherever you find yourself today, on and off the mat. And maybe you even it out how many times you went side to side, if you went side to side. And perhaps you'll find yourself joining me in ragdoll pose. Arms long and out. Breathing deeply, sending some love towards the lower back. And maybe on your next exhale, you bring one knee down to the ground, nice and slow. And then the other knee to meet it. And find your version of a child's pose. Today, my child's pose is going to be with my knees closed, my shoulders rolled back creating space between my shoulders and my ears. Lowering my head towards the ground as I stretch my arms out as much as I want to today. And I'll remain here for five breaths. On my next inhale, I'll lift my head, coming forward a little bit to begin to find thread the needle. So to find thread the needle, I'll begin in a tabletop. And I'm gonna start with my right side, but honestly, it doesn't really matter what side you start on. I'm going to tuck the lower back in or tuck the lower belly in to create lengthening in my lower back. As I bring my right arm forward, creating a loop of sorts, inhaling and on my exhale, Almost like I'm putting a needle through a loop, I'm gonna loop my left arm through this space created by my right arm, creating 
a gentle spinal twist. And today I'll actually bring my arm, my long arm on top, a little bit further out because it feels good to me today. <sighs> Wherever you are, don't push yourself, but just relax and ease into thread the needle on one side for three breaths. Checking in with your shoulders, seeing if they are square and parallel to each other. Letting your breath create ease in any spots that feel tense in your body. And in my next inhale, I'll press into my arm on or my hand on top to start to unravel. And then use my other palm to stabilize myself. And then I'll find the thread the needle on the other side. So we'll keep the opposite arm long <laughs> finding our inhale tucking in the lower belly as we loop our other arm underneath the space created keeping our hips also square to them to each other and our shoulders as we breathe deeply for three cycles. <sighs> On my next inhale, I'll press into my left hand slowly unraveling, coming into a tabletop, and we will find our final resting position. So, most people would actually use corpse pose, which is totally an option, um, but for somebody like me with a big old butt. Corpse pose is not really accessible to me. So I'm going to slowly come onto my bum. And I'm still going to come down onto my back. But instead, I'm going to bend my knees and bring... <clears throat> excuse me. <laughs> it's my swamp now. <laughs> so... I'm going to um, come on down onto my back, but instead of uh, bringing my legs all long as if to be in corpse pose, I'm actually going to keep my knees bent, bring my feet about mat width distance apart, and lengthen my lower back. So this pose helps me to really feel comfortable and at ease and like I am resting my lower back in corpse pose because like I said I have a big bum there's actually like an arch that happens in my lower back and so for me corpse pose does not feel very comfortable but if corpse pose feels comfortable for you then by all means I really encourage you to take it but I do want to be authentic and um really show that for me corpse pose is just not right now I just don't like it and maybe one day that'll change but that's where I become intentionally disobedient if a yoga teacher calls out corpse pose I don't take it or I try not to take it so I'm gonna again tuck in the lower abdomen to create a lengthening in my back bringing my knees or my feet hip width or mat width distance apart 
and allowing my knees to come in towards each other. So for our final resting pose, I invite you to stay there for five breath cycles and really just be calm and quiet and let the lessons that you've learned today on the mat, whatever it was today, soak in. So let us begin. Inhaling through the mouth or the nose. And exhaling through the nose as well. And you may take the remaining four breath cycles, however way, whichever way you would like. If you'd like to join me in our five minute silent meditation, you can wriggle your toes and then maybe your fingertips to bring awareness back into your body. And slowly make your way into a comfortable seated position for five minutes of silence. And today I think I'm going to sit up on the block for our silent meditation. I'm going to quickly reach my or grab my Apple Watch so that I can keep a timer on and everyone can just relax into their silent meditation. And I will gently bring us all back into awareness once five minutes has been has passed. So that we can end today's yoga class in a virtual namaste hug circle. So finding your way into whatever position you want to stay in for our meditation. It does not have to be an easy pose like I'm going to take. You can also stay in whatever position you were in for the final resting pose. So once you have relaxed into your meditation pose, you can begin to breathe at your own pace.
by you to slowly start coming back into your body so perhaps you start by making small slow movements in your fingertips or toes or your nose slowly come back into your body after the meditation so congratulations you just did a yoga class. I finish off my yoga classes with a namaste circle. Uh, and since we are all doing virtual, um, if we were in person, this is the part where we would do hugs if you wanted to with consent. But since we are all virtual, I'll just invite you to repeat after me. And what I'm going to say is just a little definition, one definition of what namaste means. Namaste is different for everyone, uh, but the definition we're going to use is really nice because it's non-denominational and it really just encompasses everyone's light. So like I said, hi kitty, I'll invite you to... Repeat after me. And maybe you want to say it with me with your hands together at heart center and prayer pose. Namaste means I honor the light in you, which is of love, truth, and light. When you are in that place in you, and I am in that place in me, we are one. We are one. We are one. Thank you so much, guys, for joining today in our yoga class. I will be back again next week with another yummy uh, yoga routine. Until then, stay safe. Stay poppin', stay lit. Peace.